welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In today's video, I come at you with another requested video. I have been loving your video requests lately. They have been such good ideas. And this video request came from Care Ann Can. She said, hey Amber, I love your videos. This one included, maybe another idea for a video if you're ever looking for one could be to compare the prices of some of your more popular bags from when you first bought them to now. I sometimes hesitate on buying a bag to only regret it later when I see a price increase. So that was a wonderful idea and I started thinking about it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's an incredible idea. It would be great to kind of take a trip down memory lane to kind of take a look at some popular bags and some of my most favorite bags in my collection looking at what I paid compared to what the prices are today. So if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in, make sure to stick around. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and let's get right into the video. Okay, so there is no denying a lot of these fashion houses have done so many price increases. I feel like over the past two years or so, it's been really insane, especially when it comes to Chanel and Louis Vuitton. And honestly, you guys, when I took a look back at what I paid for some of these bags and what the bags are going for today, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'll be honest. I was like, thank you my lucky stars that I bought them when I did because these price increases have just been outrageous. So what I'm gonna do, I have about 12 bags that I wanna share with you. Um, Louis Vuitton, a combination of Louis Vuitton and Chanel. It's not my whole entire handbag collection, but these are some more popular bags that I wanted to make sure I touched on. I'm gonna share with you the bag. I'm gonna share with you the price when I purchased it, the year I purchased it, and I'm gonna share with you what the price is today. I thought it would be kind of fun or maybe not so fun to take a look back and see. So the first bag I wanna mention is one of my favorite bags and this is the one that is one of the most shocking increases and it is my beloved Chanel medium classic flap in the beautiful lambskin I bought this bag probably like 10 years ago if you guys are handbag collectors as well I would highly recommend you keep all of your receipts for your handbags um, it kind of helps to prove the authenticity in case you ever want to sell it as well but I keep like one of those little folders that you get from Target I will insert a clip so you can see what I'm talking about and I kind of label each bag and that's where I keep the receipts So when I checked the prices for these I was just it was crazy So this bag I bought this about 10 years ago. I bought this bag for $4,400 and today this is March 17th 2022 this bag right here is going for $8,800 so this bag has doubled in price, absolutely doubled in price. I know I've said this before, but anyone out there who questions whether or not some of these handbags are investments, I would have to say they 100% are because like if I were to sell this bag today, I keep it in great condition. I could definitely make a profit and I think that's the key. If you are looking to purchase handbags like for investment purposes, just make sure you, you know, take really good care. But that doubled. I was like flabbergasted, but I still love this bag. Absolutely beautiful. But that is the first bag I wanted to discuss and this bag has doubled in price. Okay, the next bag I want to talk about is the Chanel Wallet on Chain. I was so excited to get the Chanel Wallet on Chain. The main reason I got it is I wanted a kind of like a grab and go bag for when I went to Vegas. Like I wanted to take this, put it in my Neverfull when I traveled, and then use this when walking on the strip. And I did take this to Vegas and it has it was really, really handy because I was able to use it as like a little crossbody during the day and then I could kind of carry it like this at night as a little clutch. So this is in the caviar leather. You can see this is back when they had the button closure they do now have the magnetic closure which I think is definitely better because this is one of my pet peeves about this bag is the button closure it has the Mona Lisa pocket you open it up you can see the beautiful interior the beautiful chain it has the zip compartment that goes all the way down this is just a stunning stunning bag so I purchased this wallet on chain in 2019 for $2,500 and it is now $3,500 and so that is a $1,000 price increase for these. Now all the prices that I checked were as of today. Um, I, I don't know if there's going to be another Chanel price increase or not so this is just 
as of when I did my research, these are the prices I came up with. So this is a great bag, but a thousand dollars more for this wallet on chain compared to when I got it in 2019. So I know a lot of you are going to ask me, are these bags worth it? And that's a really subjective question because I feel as though different things are worth it to different people. For example, I'm a handbag lover. I'm a handbag collector. There are a number of people that will look at my collection and be like, I can't believe she spent that on a handbag or I can't believe she spent that on this. And it all depends on the person. So it might be worth it to me, might not be worth it to you. So it's really something you have to take a look at, see if you're going to use it. And then you guys have to make a determination. But I just wanted to share with you the prices because I thought it would be kind of a fun little thing to go back and reminisce on. So that is the Chanel Walla on Chain $1,000 increase since 2019. Okay, let's talk Chanel Jumbo. This was my dream bag purchase. I did an unboxing video. I wanted this bag for the longest time. Beautiful caviar leather. It has the champagne gold hardware. The chain is just stunning. There's something about the gold chain with the leather. It's so beautiful. I have a double flap, as you can see. You can see the interior, I have it stuffed right now. Beautiful burgundy interior. So I will be honest, I was extremely lucky with this bag because I was able to purchase it right before the price increase. I mean, right before the price increase. So I purchased this in 2021 towards the end and I paid $7,100 to this, which I thought was outrageous. I saved and I saved. You guys know I even sold off a couple of bags because I knew I wanted to add this in my collection. The price now is $9,500 for this bag. So we are talking after taxes, $10,000 for this bag. I mean, you're getting into Hermes Birkin territory at that point, absolutely crazy. So this right here was a $2,400 increase from the point I bought this. And keep in mind, you guys, there are some people who purchased the Jumbo years ago or purchased the Walk years ago, and they had much more of a savings. I just wanted to share with you when I bought the bag compared to the price then, compared to what it is now, and they are astronomical. Let's just say I am over the moon happy that I got the Jumbo when I did. Okay, next we come to my very first Louis Vuitton purchase. So you know this is gonna be a doozy. It is my Speedy 35 in the Damier Aben. You guys, I was so excited to get this bag. It is so beautiful. This was actually, I wanna say it was before they even made the bandolier. So this one does not have a strap. It's probably one of the reasons I don't wear it as much as I would like because it is just a top handle and I prefer um, crossbody bags. But this bag, it's in immaculate condition. Are you ready for this? I bought this in 2011. I paid $750. The bag today goes for $1620, so that is an $870 increase. Like I said, I love this Speedy. I definitely think at the time, if they made the bandolier, I would have purchased it with the, the strap. And maybe they did, I'm not sure, but that's, I don't carry this as much as I would have liked to, but it does fit a lot. It still is a classic Louis Vuitton bag, but can you believe that? $870 that this beauty right here is increased. Crazy, crazy. Okay, I know you guys want to hear about this one. Let's move on to the Pochette Matisse. This beautiful Pochette Matisse. The Pochette Matisse is like my favorite handbag, you guys know. So functional. It has the back pocket, it has the top handle, it has removable strap, adjustable strap. It fits everything you could imagine. This is a great bag, one of my favorites. I own it in the monogram and the emprunt leather, but in today's video, we're going to discuss the monogram. I bought this in 2019 for $18.30. The bag today in the monogram is $25.70, so the price went up $740. Now, this is one of those items where people are asking me all the time, is it worth it? Again, that would have to be up to you and if you have the money to spend on it, but I love this bag. It will forever be one of the most functional bags in my collection, therefore, I think it's worth it, but I am so happy that I did get it prior to the increase, but this one right here, $740 increase. Let's move on to the Louis Vuitton Crisset. A lot of you ask me about this bag. You're like, do you like it? Do you not? I have once again done comparison videos. I think I did a comparison between this and the Pachette Matisse. I think I also did a comparison between this and the Alma BB as well. 
I love this, however, a word of caution. I did not spray this with Apple Guard, which I definitely should have because you can see there are rain spots from when I've touched it or when I use hand sanitizer. But this is a really, really good bag. Um, it fits a lot, it's comfortable to wear. I purchased this Louis Vuitton corset in 2018 for $16.50, and the price today is $19.60, so that's a $310 increase. But once again, great bag. I love that this has a top handle. I feel like that a top handle on bags just gives it a, just a little extra umph that I just love. And then it, this bag would be amazing if it had a back pocket for your phone. But other than that, it really, really is a great bag. If it's your essentials, top handle, it has a strap. It is not an adjustable strap, but it is a, a very sizable long strap, so it fits nicely. And I will insert a pic so you can see what it looks like on me, but this one, $310 increase. Okay, let's move back here to the Louis Vuitton Lackey BB. This was a bag that really surprised me when I got it because I didn't think I was gonna use it as much as I did. And I really, really loved it. I love the top handle. My only complaint is I wish the top handle stayed. As you can see, it does kind of flap down. Not a huge deal. Um, you can see the back of the bag. A lot of people ask me if I get a lot of scratches on this. There are a few, but it's not too noticeable. The, the thing that bothers me, I think, more about this are fingerprints on the bag. But this does, um, again, fit your essentials. I have some change at the bottom there. And again, I have done a ton of videos on this in case you're interested. I purchased this in 2020 for $18.40, and the bag today is $22.30, making that a $390 increase. Um, this bag, like I said, I love that it has a top handle, fits your essentials, comfortable to wear. I wear it as a crossbody. You can also just kind of carry it. It looks like a little briefcase. Really, really cute bag. Uh, $390 increase from when I purchased it. Okay, now let's talk Alma BB. This is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton bags. I was so excited to get this. You guys know the story. I got this when I was in Vegas. I have it in the Damier Aben still in immaculate condition. You can see it has the beautiful red interior with the strap. This is a great bag. I've done a ton of comparison videos, what's in my bag videos in case you're interested. But this bag, I purchased this bag um, for $1,230 and it is now $1,760. $530 increase. Now that is if you get this one. There are a couple new ones coming out and then if you get the imprint leather, it is more expensive. But for this, I paid $1,230 and I thought that that was a great deal. I say great deal because of course these bags are expensive, but for a luxury bag and for everything this bag fits and you know all the positive things about it, I thought that was a great deal at the time. So $530 is the increase for this Alma BB right here. Okay, let's move on to this bag right here. This is the Speedy 20. This is a more recent purchase. I purchased this um, this year actually, and I was able to get it just before they had a tiny little increase, and I have it in the beautiful Emprunt leather. I have just been loving this bag. It fits a lot. I've done reels on Instagram. I've also done dedicated videos, so make sure to check that out as well. But this bag I purchased for $2,440, and it is now $2,570, so that's a $130 increase. Not a huge, huge increase, but it is a great bag. This is another one that I am a huge fan of the Emprunt leather. It's really, really durable, it's flexible, and it just, it is one of those grab and go bags that you don't have to worry about getting like watermarks on it. I've taken this um, out in the rain. Really, really good bag. So this one, only $130 increase, which I actually thought it would be more because it is the Emprunt leather and this is a very popular bag but considering it just recently came out I'm actually glad there wasn't that much of an increase okay now we are actually coming back to a bag that I was going to mention before but I had to text my sales associate to find out today's price because I thought I had it written down and I didn't but it is the Chanel wallet on chain and the trendy CC I was so excited about this wallet on chain because it had the classic turn lock closure as you can see, I love that turn lock closure. Uh, it's something about it, I just get so excited about it. It has the Chanel plate on the top, and then it has this beautiful chain. 
This is a great, great wallet on chain. I absolutely love it. A lot of people thought, well, because it has the plate, it might be a little gaudy, but when I wear it, I just have it so that the chain is like over top of that. So you can't really see the plate that much, but I have done a comparison video between this bag and the Chanel Walk in case you guys are interested. But I purchased this for $3,100 and it is now $35.50, so it went up $450. I do love this wallet on chain, but as I stated, in case you guys are interested, make sure to check out that comparison between this bag and the regular walk in case these are on your wish list. But for this particular bag, $450, and I purchased this in, I think it was 2019. Okay, I have three more bags to share. The next bag I wanna share is the Odeon PM. You guys know I love the Odeon PM. I don't have it right here, it's in my car and it is pouring down rain, so I will insert a picture so you guys can see what the ODM PM looks like. You guys know I love that bag so much. It is so functional, it has a front pocket for my phone. I was so excited about that bag. It is one of my most functional bags along with the Peugeot Matisse, but I purchased that for $1770 and it is now $2100, so that is a $330 increase. But I love that bag. I love the strap. It's thick. It's adjustable. It's comfortable to wear. You have the pocket for your phone. I love the little luggage tag. That is a great, great bag. I absolutely love it and would highly recommend it. Okay, two more to share. I now want to move into the Neverfull category. So I'm just going to share the one. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size. I've had it for a while. You can see the beautiful patina on the top. When did I purchase this? I got this in 2017. It has the beautiful Pivon interior, and then it also does come with um, another little pouch. I actually added this little pom-pom on here. I thought it was so cute. So you can use this as like a separate clutch. But this bag right here I purchased in 2017 for $1,340, and it is now $2,100. So that's $760. But I will tell you, I love using this bag for travel. This is always my go-to bag when it comes to flying on a plane. This is my carry-on, and then I will put like another handbag on the inside. I mentioned that's what I do. And I go to Vegas, I just take my little um, wallet on chain and put it in here so then I can use this when I walk the strip so that I don't have to carry a huge bag. But $760, so I'm so happy I got it when I did. I also own it in the Damier Azure as well, but the GM size is definitely, I would recommend it for travel because it's huge. You could also use it as a work bag, but for a day-to-day -day bag, I personally think it's a little too big and I'd recommend the MM size for that, but it is still a great, great bag. Okay, and the final bag that I wanna mention in today's video is another Louis Vuitton bag, and it is this right here. This is the Palm Springs mini backpack. Let me just zip this and show you what it looks like. Palm Springs mini backpack. I was so excited to buy this bag. I purchased it in 2021 for $19.90 and it is now $24.40. $450 increase, but this is a really good bag. It's very versatile. It has this little top handle here. You can wear it as a backpack or I like to wear it as a crossbody. I think I've mentioned to you guys, I do this strap is a little thinner, so I like to replace this strap and use the Pochette Matisse strap. It's a little thicker and sturdy. I will put a picture of me wearing it with the Pochette Matisse strap, but this is great because the way it just kind of opens up a little bit, you just reach your hand in, pull your things out. It fits a lot. Again, I've done reels. I've also done dedicated videos in case you guys need a further breakdown. Like I said, if you guys need a further breakdown on any of these bags, check out my video section. I have done a ton, but this is a good, good bag, but it has increased $450 since I purchased it in 2021. Okay guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought that was such a good video recommendation, so thank you so much for that. If you guys have any questions about any of these bags, make sure to let me know down below. I am just like flabbergasted by all of these price increases. Hopefully the fashion houses have calmed down for a little bit and there won't be any more, but I'm very happy and blessed that I was able to get these bags when I did and I'm sure there are a lot 
of other people that got these bags like even cheaper so I'm definitely a little jealous I I do always say that as far as the classic flap is concerned this is the one that kills me I really wish that I would have picked up another one back then had I known the prices were gonna be what they are today because there's there's nothing better than having a classic flap in your collection but I'm so grateful and thankful that I have the ones I do today so I would love to hear your thoughts below are you shocked by these increases let me know in your collection what bag is the one that has gone up the most and which one are you the most grateful for I think for me the Chanel classic flap and the Chanel jumbo I am so grateful I was able to get those when I did because the prices are just astronomical so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well have a wonderful day you guys and I'll see you in my next video Thank <laughs> you.